Dr. Tony, great to have you here at Aston Villa. How excited are you? Excited, but also calm down. Since it's not time to celebrate yet, we hope we can be more excited after one season. There's been a little delay in terms of completing this. How desperate are you to start work now? Yes, we need to get everything back to right track as soon as we can. Fortunately, I think we have been shopping everything. The manager team is ready. They have already been working hard for the past uh, weeks. Aston Villa have been in, in a low moment in recent years. Is your ambition to get back to the Premier League, first of all? Yes, and yes. That's something in every, every, uh, everybody's mind now. And what would you say your long-term aim for Aston Villa is? The greatest club in the world, a club taking the leadership of the modern new age. Uh, maybe more than that. The club won the Champions League in 1982. Is winning it again an ambition for you? Why not? Maybe again and again. Your first decision is bringing in Roberto Di Matteo as manager. How happy are you to have him here now? Yes, I'm very happy that Roberto was willing to take this challenge with us. I do need someone who is really into this and also confident enough to succeed. I think he's the right one. And why did you choose Roberto? Yes, as I said, he's the right one. One with very successful experience in championship successful experience in premiership in European champion. Also, he is the one of the most intelligent coach I have been knowing. I can say just like me, we are common in the way we can succeed in different fields. Last and the most important, he understand what we are run into and my ambition. And I think he will help helps that happen and succeed. And what are your first things to do now? Are you going to start by helping Roberto work on transfers? Yes, I will give some comments, advice, but that's their team's job. For me, the first thing is to do now is to get the whole club to the right track, have the right atmosphere here, get the right club split, to this great club used to be. And I know you can't say too much about this, but what are our plans for the transfer window? Uh, we, we are working on that. I think we will have all the teams ready before the season starts. I'm very confident of that. One thing Randy Lerner didn't do when he was chairman here was attend many games. Are you planning to be hands-on and attend many games yourself? Yes, ab absolutely. I will spend as much time as I can. You are a fan of Aston Villa yourself. How great are the supporters here? Yes, for sure. I would like... It's a very great experience for me to sit with them. I love the passion and the feelings they give to this awesome studio. Are we correct in thinking that the fans helped persuade you to buy the club because of their reaction against Newcastle at the end of last season? Yes, it's true for a lot. When I sat watching that game, I kept thinking that with these great fans, we are true that we would do very good. We stopped consecutive loss for that match. It, it was a very good hint we can start to make the bet. And how important will the fans be? I always think the, the football is just like a platform or a stage with fans as base and the columns to build up. And how has this news of your takeover been received in China? Oh, it, it has been talking by people very much. I think it is a big story and I hope it will be big in the future. Can you tell us a little bit about the importance of football in China? H how much is it growing, in your opinion? You can imagine there should be two to three thousand million football fans there. Based on that number, you can do, if we get the right system, 
get the right flow of culture, it will be a phenomenal trend. Fantastic. And this club is big in Asia, but I know you expect it to be even bigger in the future. Do you want it to be the biggest club in Asia? Yes, a lot of Chinese fans send messages and a lot of feelers across the world send me f the message uh, since the day we announced takeoff. They said they will be Villa fans for, from, the, from, from that day forever. I'm sure it will be the biggest in Asia and also I hope the biggest and the greatest in the world.